I just had Carlos uh, Mencia on my show. Who I love. I fucking, you know what? I love and I always have, and I would say that in front of anybody. I fucking love Carlos Mencia. I, I hated what happened to him and the procession that would happen to him. And I didn't know very much about Carlos Mencia before the interview. The interview was brought to me. Right. They say, hey, do you want to interview Carlos? I'm like, oh, I know the name. I never watched The Mind of Mencia right. for whatever reason, right. not because it wasn't a great show. I just never watched it. I've never seen the stand-ups, but I know the name. And, you know, you know me, I fuck with comedians right. heavy. Right. So I'm like, okay, another comedian. Let's Let's bring him on. So I started doing the research and it was like, Wow. Okay. So he was essentially the first comedian to get canceled, right? He was. If you look at the timeline of he was of what happened, because Joe Rogan yeah. basically came on stage and accused him of stealing jokes. Yep. So you know all about this. I, I, I learned about it recently, and then through our interview, we got to discuss it. I don't know if you saw the interview or not, but it got. I deep. haven't seen that, but yeah. I mean, he got teary eyed at of one course. point, and you know. It's interesting because, listen, everyone gets quote unquote canceled, attacked throughout their careers. Happened to me, it's happened to you. You get past it. Unless you go to jail or you die, you usually could get past it if you continue to work. But in Carlos's case, you saw a real effect. I did. Of this. I did. To the point where he was doing like stadiums and now he's doing small clubs in Montana. Well, here's the thing. I don't know that that so the, the, you can say the thing about thing thing about Dane, Dane Cook too. You okay, can say so, about I'll just say, so I don't know that 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 is the Dane Cook. Yeah, uh, whatever he, Dane Cook. He he's not playing the venues he did before. Okay, fair enough. And Andrew Dice Clay is not playing the venues he did before. Okay, so All I don't right. know okay, that, that's, 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 that. Those are good this, examples. It's a function of that. I will say this, um, and I will say this in front of anybody. I've always been, I've liked Carlos. I've always thought what happened to him was not quite fair. Yeah. It was a feeding frenzy. Yeah. It's one I didn't take part in. Yeah. And I think he's an immensely talented. I'll tell you what, this, I don't even remember where we were. But we were on we were on a plane. And I saw Carlos. And we'd always been close and cool. Like cool. And he looked at me like he didn't, he didn't know how I would accept. Like, hey man. I don't give a fuck what nobody say about you. Yeah. I think you fly and I, I'm i going to fuck with you because I think, like, there's a feeding frenzy that happens. And he was caught up in it. And I don't think it was necessarily fair, but I think it's kind of what a function of what happens. I hated the most that he absorbed it. Like, shit that happens to you, it's happened so much. You can you can throw with the punch. It's the punch you don't see coming that knocks you out. I just thought that it shouldn't have landed and it did. And he took it, he took it to heart and it really, I think did something to him. Now I can't tell you if that's the truth or not, but it seemed like he he withdrew and, and, and became a different iteration of himself. I mean, I talked to TK Kirkland about this mm -hmm. before the interview. Cause I was like, okay, I'm about to interview this, prominent person in the comedic community. Let me go talk to some prominent comedians. I know I talked to TK. I also talked to Faison. And, uh, you know, what TK said was this whole accusation of stealing jokes from his point of view just seems petty. It does. Because everyone copies jokes to a certain degree. Right? He's like, he's like, look, you know, he he has this new stand up and he says someone hit him up and said, Hey, you know, this uh this one joke you said was really similar to some Sinbad joke. And he goes, I've never watched a Sinbad stand up. Just in all honesty, not nothing against Sinbad. I've just never seen any of his stand up. So it's just by coincidence that we're talking about these various jokes. And like, for example, have you ever been accused of stealing jokes? Yes. Yes. <laughs> See what I mean? Yes. And anybody who denies being influenced by other people. Dennis Miller accused me of sending a joke. Really? Like, yes. <laughs> I fucking... Now, there are not people I hate. I hate Dennis Miller. I'd fight Dennis Miller, like, for real. Like, I'd fight okay. him. Like, even now. You still if you, if, you, if, you, if, if I had a chance to make that not a possibility, I would. <laughs> but I did... Like, he's, I hate, he's 70 years old, by the I, way. Yeah, so then, you, then you can probably, I'm pretty sure I, you can I, take I, it I at this point. I despise that motherfucker. Okay. 
Like literally. <laughs> um, anybody who I just think it was a feeding frenzy. I think it's petty, like I said earlier. And I think, I think anybody who, but I think they had a chance. They gained up, and Carlos had a lot of traction. It was happening. Well, he had a show on uh, Comedy Central, and he had the show at the same time. I had weekends at the DL, so I had, yeah. I had. I think he's talented. I think he's still talented. I think what people did to him uh, was a function of how small-minded and myopic they could be. And I hope um, that he understands that there are more people than, than not that get him, dig him, and respect him.